Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another two box break of 2020-2021 Panini Prism Premier League, English Premier League, soccer, random club break number nine, breakaway edition, not the hobby edition, but the breakaway edition. All cards ship, some special breakaway prisms in there, big thanks to these folks for getting into it. There are the clubs right there, let's roll it, let's randomize each list five and a two, seven times, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Jason down to Joshua. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck. We got Sheffield, the Sheffield West Brom combo on top down to Leicester City. All right, Jason Sieber with the Sheffield West Brom combo, Nick with Burnley, Josh with Wolverhampton, Chris with Chelsea and Aston Villa, Jason with the West Ham United, Josh with Southampton, Joseph with Tottenham, nice. Josh with the Palace Leeds combo, and Andy of Man City, Tan with Man United, Michael with Everton, Charles with Fulham, Josh you got my club Liverpool, and you have Arsenal, Bill with Brighton and Hope Albion, Josh with Newcastle and Leicester City. Uh, let's alphabetize by club name right here and I'm gonna pause the video when we come back we're gonna see if there's any trades then we'll have the break stick around all right welcome back folks no deals were done there's the final printout for random club break number nine this is a breakaway edition we're just talking during the trade window about about the transfer system the loan system and promotion relegation a lot of stuff that I think could be interesting for the United States, but, but for a variety of historical reasons, a lot of stuff just doesn't work out here as it would over there. But a loan system, I think we were chatting about, a loan system could be interesting, especially especially in basketball, I think. A loan system would be really interesting. And Evan was saying during the tra our transfer window, the trade window for this break, the loan system is the reason why there are vast amounts of talent in the football world. I agree. There, there's, a, there's a lot of cases where you can point to like a young soccer player, like an 18-year-old, 19-year-old kid, right, who may be at a big club, but, but a big club that has a lot of players ahead of him. So how does he de how does he develop? You know, well, you would loan that kid out to, you know, maybe a mid-table team that needs that kind of up-and-coming talent, and th that kid can get regular minutes, which is what you know youngsters really need, just to get regular minutes to fulfill their potential. And they can do that, and then come back, you know, a little more battle-hardened, which is important. There's Bruno Fernandes. Great pickup by Manchester United. Tan with Man United. I don't know what, you know, I th think with the loan system, I don't know, I think MLS probably does, I don't know the real reason why, but they're probably, my guess would be they don't do it because the pool is not as big. But they must be able to get loans from other clubs, right? They must have a loan system. The Crystal Palace... Ize going to Josh. There is a loan system, Evan's saying. There's Andy Robertson for my club, Liverpool. Yeah, there must be because I think the loan system is is something that you can do, I think you can do around the world. There's Michael Ballack. Remember Michael Ballack? 28 out of 50. Club legends. German legend as well going to Chris and Chelsea. There has to be some sort of there has to be some sort of loan system because I think it's pretty it's global. You can send you know someone on loan to a an English team can send someone on loan to a German team. Yeah, Evan's saying his team Charlotte 
the expansion team hasn't started yet, so but it's good to see your four players play, but even while the team isn't playing games yet because of that loan system. There's Fabian Schar, Newcastle. That's the silver. Gotcha. MLS players can only loan to non-MLS rosters. All right. That makes sense. So yeah, it, there, there's a lot of wrinkles in the in in that in the soccer world, right? And then every 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 club has di different transfer window. Every football association has different transfer window. Brandon, you're right about that too. There's Sissoko for Tottenham, along with that Hyunmin Sun going to Joe Falsetti. There's Mo Salah, and there's Granite Zaka, not Bukayo Saka, but Zaka. And there's the Molyneux. It's where the Wolves play. Look at that. Open 1889. There's so many, so many stadiums in there that have been around since the late 1800s. Probably when that was just a, a patch of dirt with some uh, with wooden goalposts. Which is why when you watch soccer and someone someone hits a shot and it hits like the post and they call it the woodwork, it's like, oh, that, there, there's a screamer off the woodwork, an announcer may say, because it actually used to be made of wood. Ooh, nice Hyunmin Son parallel. 128 out of 195. Joe Falsetti. Look that up, Joe. You might be su pretty surprised at how much that's going to go for. Bernardo Silva for Man City. There's Alfonso Ariola. And we got Giovanni Lo Celso. Six out of 49. These, uh, what, aqua, teal, whatever you want to call it. There must be an official name for it, but those look really sharp. Uh, Ariella goes to Charles and Fulham. Timo Werner goes to Chris and Chelsea. We got Robin Cook for Leeds. That's going to be for Joshua E. Yeah, the World Cup should be here in the United States. Should be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Got to go to some games. Romain Sawyers to 195. And it's probably going to be another 100 years until another major pandemic, right? So we should be we should be good like 8 years from now or whatever that is. And when is when is that? So the next World Cup Where's my cursor? There it is is next year, next fall, the one in Qatar. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna screw up some calendars. Um, the next World Cup, oh, it's called Teal, says Midlife. Uh, next World Cup is 2022, but it, it's in the fall, it's in the winter, really. It starts in uh, November 21st is the Group A match. Is the first Group A match somewhere around there? But yeah, it's it's in the fall, winter, late November through like mid, I think just before Christmas actually. So that's gonna jam up a lot of a lot of scheduling. So it's gonna be well, the English Premier League generally does not have a winter break. I think the German leagues, Spanish leagues, Italian, I think the other major European leagues may have like a month or month and a half. But it's tradition, just like how there's Thanksgiving American football, right? It's tradition to have soccer on like Boxing Day on the 26th of December. 
So there's the festive fixtures. It's kind of an important thing. So I don't know what's going to happen there. It's going to be uh, it's going to be goofy. Nice, Dame Revo sold out. Great. That we'll get. Got some other breaks lined up, but we'll get to that in a few hours, a couple hours. But yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there. I, I guess I guess the English Premier League will have to make a a winter window open. All right. Are are we are we going? to the, that World Cup? Right, yeah. If if we're still having border issues six years from now, then we've got other things, probably have other things to worry about, right? So in 2026, they're calling it United 2026. Yeah, it's host countries are, are the North American countries, Canada, Mexico, the United States. And I think this is the tournament where it expands to 48 teams. There's Vitna. So I think uh, I think Qatar is still 32 teams. And then I think, uh, according to Wikipedia, it says the one here in the United States or in North America, there's Jordan Pickford, will be in Pulisic right here. He might, he might lead the way for American victory. But it's going to span to 48 teams. It seems like a lot. Christian Pulisic is going to go to Chris. And Jordan Pickford is going to go to Everton Michael. That one, that's to 195. Are there more groups? I think there's more groups. Anyway, where, where are the matches going to be? Edmonton, Montreal, Toronto has candidate cities. I don't think these are set yet. Mexico City, Monterey, Guadalajara, Cochivas. And for United States, Los Angeles, New York, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Dallas, Kansas City, Denver, Houston, Baltimore, Atlanta, Philly, Nashville. These are all candidate cities. Seattle, San Francisco, Bay Area, Boston, Cincinnati, Miami, Orlando. So I think, I think we'll get a bulk of the... Uh, bulk of the match. When it expands, will Jaspies feel their own team? If we were a... I guess if we turn into a country in the next six years, the United States of of Jaspies? I don't know, population team Jaspies? I don't know if we'd be able to field a squad. All right, James Ward Prowse for Southampton for Josh. Mason Mount is going to go to Chris and Chelsea. And Hugo Loris. Nice. Six out of 99. Purple will go to Joseph and Tottenham. We are indeed, Matt. Yeah, LA, I'm sure, will we'll certainly have. We'll host a World Cup match. I think I heard that they were saying that it was going to go from west to east. So like the early rounds will be in the West and then like the final would end up being in like New York or something like that. There's Virgil van Dijk, center back for Liverpool. And we got Elder Costa to 195. That's true, I could hit the Powerball. I could buy a small country and get that country into the World Cup, sponsored by Jaspies. Vegas could use a spot. Yeah, they're not on the candidate list for some reason, but maybe, you know, maybe maybe Vegas would be a really good spot. They could put it in the uh, new Raider Stadium. There's Issa Diop for West Ham United. There's Harry Winks. Juan Basaka, Antonio Rudiger to 49.
Bernardo Silva, David De Gea for Man United. That'll be for Talon. Oh, well on its way, Brandon. I want you to hit that massive parlay. All right. I got Billy Sharp. Tool. That's that's funny because Chef United, they're the Blades. Billy Sharp on the Blades. Jason Siebert. And that is that. There you go, folks. Uh, Random Club number nine in the books. That's Prism Premier League Soccer, English Premier League Soccer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.